All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, it is time for another review, and yes, as you can tell, I am still struggling uh, with this cold, but anyway, here we go. This is my review of the Vostede Knives Raccoon. This comes by way of my buddy Big Red EDC. First, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started. If you're not subscribed, please check the channel out. And uh, yeah, it's a fun place to be. So this is a really cool knife, as I said. Comes to me by way of my buddy Big Red EDC. I'll have his information down in the description. Please check him out. Great dude. Awesome, awesome stuff that he sent me this. I was really low on knives, and he offered a couple. Uh, and that is awesome. Now, first things first, <clears throat> I'm going to start off with some rough thoughts, uh, which is a little different than the way that I usually do a review. But I... This has been a very popular knife. This knife came out and kind of took the EDC world by storm. And I can see why the profile is incredible. This They call it a drop point blade. But again, this is another case where I feel like it's point lined up with pivot. And that to me is a sheep's foot. I get it. Uh, you can call it a drop point. To me, that's a, sh uh, uh, wow, a spear point. Did I say sheep's foot? I think I did. A spear point. Uh but you have this gorgeous green micarta, uh, and just the profile is great. You have a lower blade and a, and a higher little bit here handle. Here, we'll just pick it up and show you what I'm talking about. But you've got this great green micarta, kind of a dry micarta, great grippiness to that micarta. It is a button lock that it does not stick out a lot, which is one of my favorite things. I kind of don't care for when a button lock sticks way out. If it's in the locked position, it protrudes ever so slightly above the scale, uh, enough to grab it, and that is great. Love their very, very simple pivots on their knives. Um, and Vostid is just kind of killing it. Now, this, I don't have the packaging here. The JB just sent this in a pouch, which is great. Uh, but they kill it with the packaging, too, uh, very much so. Now, um, chamfered off on the edges all the way around, flat scales. As you can see, there is no contouring to these scales. Again, fairly grippy. We'll take your, uh, you know, your patina there uh, from your hands as time goes on. Now you do have a nice filler tab here on the left side, and your pocket clips on the right. Now, uh, one of the first things I want to point out is this pocket clip. There is quite a bit sticking out of the pocket. It is left reversible. Um, it is, uh, the pocket clip is set into the scales a little bit, and it also, I mean, all the way flat, and also has flat screws, but this is a very, very, very low profile clip, which is a good thing, um, and it, you know, in reality, and I'm just going to do this again to remind myself, yeah, it goes in and out of the pocket fine, uh, the ramp is very good to the clip, it's not a problem, so, um, you know, in, in this regard, they really nailed it because now it disappears ergonomically in that grip. Now, do I wish it was a little bit higher, uh, like towards the end there? What's interesting to me is the clip is actually screwed into the liners inside. There's your full inset steel liners, which is great. It is great to see a company from China, in this case, Vost, case Vostid, uh, doing inset liners. Um, you know, most... Chinese companies with their knives, uh, if they're G10 or Micarta, they are uh, exposed liners, and uh, this is great. Um, you do have a matching backspacer of that same Micarta. Uh, you have thumb studs for opening. You do have plenty of room here for sharpening, and a very high flat grind with a stone wash there. As you can see, very beautiful. You got Vostid written here. Uh, the studs are back out of the cutting path, 14C28N, and Raccoon written on the blade right there. Um, now, the one thing that kind of surprised me about this knife, because so far you've not heard me say anything bad. I mean, the lockup is fantastic. Um, no lock rock, no blade play, nothing whatsoever. Uh, it's fit and finish are great. It's dead centered. Uh, great action uh, as far as opening and closing. But what surprised me was I had heard from a lot of people of how fidgety this knife is. This particular one, uh, you know, it does drop, but it is definitely not as droppy as a lot of the other button locks I've experienced. 
uh, the CGR Pyrite for RB Pyrite or even the CGRB Lago that I have in right now. It's just a little more stiff, if you see what I mean there. Now, can I force it in? Sure. Um, I could definitely, well, see, I'm still struggling. Uh, but, you know, I can definitely, there you go, force it down by using a wrist flick. So does that make it fidgety? Sure. Um, would I prefer it? Here's the logo I was just talking about. We're about to do a review on that too. Um, just, I mean, look at how it just drops down in there. I mean, that's what I want in a button lock. I just want it, man, I'm, I'm doing a bad job. This angle is really hard guys, but trust me, this one is more droppy, way more droppy. Um, and I'm just having a hard time today. I don't know, but if I give it some rest, it goes. But if I just want it to drop, it's just stiff and doesn't want to go all the way in. Um, and I don't understand that part. Now, does that mean it's bad? Absolutely not. This is a fantastic knife. Ergonomically, I come right here and four finger grip and that feels fantastic. You can choke up here, but I would be very careful to stay back and trigger so that you don't get up on that corner of that blade. Uh, not a great option there. Now... Uh, your jipping is back here, uh, so if you're a person like me that holds your knives kind of like this, uh, you'll be out here with no jimping. Doesn't bother me, but I know for some of you that's a point uh, to remember as well. Now, here is the reason that this knife uh, is so popular. Now, unfortunately, it's so popular, I cannot find any available right now. But this thing is $59, and I know there's been some discount codes and different things like that. I don't have any right now. But it looks like they also have it in a black uh, micarta, a green micarta, and a blue micarta, which is great. For 59 bucks. they are all sold out on Vostid's website right now. I will link it uh, below, but yeah, they're sold out. So what do we have here? We have a um, 7.60 inch long knife, 3.25 inch blade length, um, and uh, by the way, it is 14C28N, if I did not say that. <coughs> wow, I think I'm, I hope I make it through this. Uh, just kidding. Uh, 4.36 inch handle. So again, just over seven and a half inches overall. Just over a three inch blade. Uh, tip up reversible, 3.39 ounces. Uh, really, really good in those regards. It feels great in the hand it feels great in the pocket by the way i didn't show that uh just kind of disappears your my carry is like this um just kind of disappears in the pocket plenty of room to stick your hand in your pocket nothing here to grab you or anything like that just feels great nice thin knife with a very very awesome profile now let's do our normal comparisons here oops that is not our normal comparison there we go here is the Ontario Rat 1, which is significantly larger uh, on both the blade and the handle. And the Rat 2, which is going to be a little bit smaller in the blade and a tiny bit smaller in the handle. So there's a look at those three. Uh, very, very cool. Now, um, I'll, I do still happen to have uh, the Drop Bear, which has been compared to it, um, and which, by the way, is also... Uh, quite a bit more fidgety, but a different lock type. Uh, just to show you, it is a little bit bigger in the handle and the blade than the drop bear. Um, and I'm trying to think if I have anything else that you guys would be interested in seeing comparison wise and not really, uh, at this point, but we'll just put the Lago out there since I showed it earlier. Lago is a little bit bigger in the handle and the blade than the raccoon. So there you go. There are your comparisons. So what do you guys think of this one? Um, again, I know this has been extremely popular. And you can see what I'm talking about. You see how it just stops short? That's what I'm trying to get across. I had a hard time showing it a minute ago. I'm just a little bit surprised about that. It just feels like... Now see, there it went. But sometimes it just does that. And, and I don't know why. And that's really my only complaint with this knife. Um, and it may just be this particular model. I don't know. I know this has been very popular. So please sound off below. Is yours way more droppy and fidgety than that? 
uh, let me know. So guys, give me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this review and this knife. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, literally, don't worry about my little knock there. Uh, it will probably break in over time. May even just need some oil. But again, it's not my knife. Um, so there you go. It is a fantastic, fantastic and beautiful knife. Uh, and just that one little uh, thing that I talked about. So other than that, it's great. So thank you guys so much for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.